Today we are going to rescue Caleb using a Tractel rescue device. Your personal protective equipment includes gloves, hard hat, Z87 protective glasses, lad safe, lanyards, solid harness, and your tools. Include the Aardvark retractable lifeline, the Tractel with a strap, and the rope. It is important to take the rope out, out of the bag and make sure that the entire length of it is not damaged. Caleb is making sure that his safety harness is tight enough that he can't make a fist, but he can't get his fingers inside the leg straps. Caleb is going to demonstrate how to use a lad safe. It is a three-step process. First, pull up the locking lever, then pull up the arm, and then pull back the side plate. Always test your lad safe by sitting back and placing all of your body weight onto the harness, effectively making sure that lad safe is not going to slip. The carabiners also have multiple steps. Up, twist, open, close, twist, down. This will be important for Charlie to know as he continues up the ladder with the aardvark. He's going to climb to the top of the ladder and place the aardvark there. It's important to always have three points of contact. Charlie is doing an excellent job of this, using his two feet and his rear end against the wall as a third point of contact. Make sure to bring the aardvark rope down with you, otherwise it will retract. This will attach to the back of the victim's safety harness. Once the victim is in place on the ladder, it is time to climb and to rescue. Make sure to communicate with the victim if you can. Let them know on what side you're coming up on. Continue to climb until your lad safe is close to the victims. You'll have to pass the lad safe, but first, with your three points of contact, secure yourself by taking the lanyard and attaching that to the highest rung of the ladder that you can reach. This will decrease the distance of your fall in case of an accident. Once you are secure, you are free to detach your lad safe and reattach it above the victims. Continue up the ladder so that way you can secure the Tractel rescue device. Take one end of the strap that is attached to the Tractel and detach it and you'll use that end to thread through the ladder and rope it around two rungs. Make sure it is secure in the carabiner and that the wheel of the tractel is unencumbered. Take the shorter end of the tractel rope and bring it down to the victim and attach it to their D ring where their lad safe is. Once attached, bring your attention back to the tractel, take the longer end of the rope above the rabbit ear and down through the rubber brakes on the back side of the tractel. Then take the wheel and rotate it so that way you can lift the victim's body weight off of the lad safe and onto the track tail. Keep raising the victim until there's no body weight on the lad safe so you can remove it. Take the rope out of the brake and keep a firm grasp. You'll also want to take the handle of the wheel and fold it back into itself. This will prevent it from getting stuck on any wires or ladder rungs. To control your descent, position your body between the ladder and the victim. Pin the victim's body against the wall to maintain control. Make sure you have two helpers standing by. They're going to want to take the legs of the victim as soon as possible, making sure the knees stay bent. This will help prevent harness trauma. Once a victim has successfully made it to the ground, let them sit for 10 minutes. Extend one leg, detach the leg strap, let them sit for another 10 minutes. Do so for the other leg and another 10 minutes. Don't forget to put away the equipment and the track tail can be kind of tough with the rope. So an easy trick is to attach it to the ladder rung. Take the longer end of the track tail's rope and feed it back into the bag. Make sure to pull not too fast because you don't want to burn out the clutch. Oh, good. Caleb survived. <laughs>